You see him right side of your screen. Bit of a jumble right there. Mm. Good save by yeah. 25. Yeah. Justine in the 25, Scott Melton the 69. But watch Greg Von Alls come through here. He had such a head of steam. Those cars were off the throttle. Looks like he, I don't know if he faded up a little bit and made contact with the 69 or Scott Melton came down a little bit, but there was contact between the 69 of Scott Melton and the 35 of Greg Van Alls. Yeah, I think what started all this, it looks like the 15 had some sort of issue. She decides to, to, to dive to the bottom. That's why everybody gets all stacked up. And... Yeah, it looks like the 69 faded faded low. The car in front of him was kind of fading down. He was, he, he was probably just trying to him. follow that car yeah. underneath him, and unfortunately, Greg Van Alst was there. It's a tough break, man. And remember, we talk about spotters. That's a long way over there to the back stretch for those spotters to see which lane they are. You know, they can see front and back, but it's hard to see which lane people are in. Especially when you, you have such quick movement through the field, you know, such a speed differential. Like you mentioned, it looked like the 35 car was shot out of a cannon. And he, he probably wasn't just quick enough to react that 35 was there. But yeah, get a I think Scott from. was going to try to pull down and follow the 25 of Gus Dean and made contact. I think I got an with in Greg. car here with uh, yeah. Greg Van Alst. Yeah, no, nothing he could do there. Just along for the ride at this point. Really fortunate that uh, there was only a single car incident. Obviously, there was. Been for a great day today, but she was involved here. Let's see what happened. Oh, something happened to Kitzmiller, it looks like. I don't know if it just was it simple, a matter of spinning the tires or something, Austin. I'm not sure. Uh, to me, that has every making of a miss shift. Yeah. Because it's like, obviously, you'd be going from second to third. So that looks like a second to first moment, which slows down the, the transmission and obviously. A lot of wheel speed. Um, Mandy Chick in the 74. You can ride on board and see what, what she saw from her perspective here. He's on the inside. Yeah, I mean, that, was, that was right at that time where that, yeah. that shift was. So that's, you know, I hate to, hate to blame him for missing a shift, and it wasn't. But it's kind of what it looked like, and obviously stacked everybody up. And I don't think anyone, especially that far back in the field, was really expecting it. There's Tim Richmond up against the outside wall and yeah, he spins down off the outside wall. Cranked the wheel right to miss it and obviously yeah. got the car bent out of shape out of the track. Mandy had a, had a real good shot in the side from the 66 of Garrett. This is a pretty big smack here once the 97 car slows down. That's Garrett in the 66, Tim Richmond in the 27. Saw the AMR safety team on the scene quickly. 